Ready? Megan McLaren, congratulations. Quite a round out there today. New South Wales Open champion again. Yeah, feels amazing. You played well today, 69, pretty round. Um, under the pump, talk us through that. Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty nerve-wracking out there, to be honest. It was, you know, as much as you want it to be like the last few days and all quite controlled and straightforward, it just wasn't like that, you know. So I just had to hang in there, to be honest. Even though I dropped a couple of shots, I kind of knew that things were going to be close and nobody was running away with it and just hoped for a moment of magic somewhere, and it happened. So, yeah. Yeah, it was describe that little moment of magic. Was it that second shot on 16? Yeah, that's the one. It's funny, I had almost the same shot yesterday where I had to hit like a 30, 40 yard cut with a three wood around the trees. And I pulled it off yesterday. So I was like, well, I know I've done it. I know I need something because I knew the lead had gone to 11 under at that point. So I was chasing. And it just, as soon as I hit it, I was, you know, hoping that it would be right. And it was and rolled in the putt. So yeah. Yeah, uh, Munchin Key had a little bit of a disaster on the 18th. Was it a surprise to come to the 18th and know that you had a two-shot loop? Yeah, I saw, um, saw a scoreboard as I was walking off the 17th green. I didn't know if it was right, to be honest, so I had to like ask a couple of people just to make sure, because obviously, you know, it's a bit of a different feeling going to the 18th tee with a two-shot lead as opposed to being tired. So. But, you know, I, it got to 11, so I knew I needed something at that point and found it. So that's always going to be pretty special for me. Okay, now the back-to-back uh, -back championship officially defended. Yeah. It's, How does that feel? Well, it's a bit of a weird one because it's not at the same course, so it almost doesn't quite feel like the same tournament. But it just must be something about Australia and, you know, coming to the end of the, the whole trip. And I think it just works out really nicely for me timing-wise. So, But, yeah, it's not something that too many people can say. So I'm pretty proud of that. Not much time to celebrate for a car trip and then a flight. Like, how, how do you celebrate a win like this? I mean, to be honest, even just the moment, you know, on 18, whenever you get your friends over and there's champagne, you know, they're the, you know, they're not sort of premeditated or you don't, you just enjoy being in the moment. So that's, they're the stuff that you play golf for. So I'm going to enjoy that part of it. On to South Africa next for you. Does it give you confidence Let's rolling go. into the tournaments you've got coming up? Yeah, 100%. Um, I've, I've known that my game's going in the right direction for the last few weeks, but to, you know, to win is just something else because you can play well for a long time without winning. And obviously the manner of this one, I needed something at the end and I did it. So that's going to stand me in good state, stead throughout my career, I think. I know you said it's different because it's different course and stuff, but is it sweeter the second time? Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, last year it was my first win, so, you know, that was a pretty big deal and I don't think anything is can compare to that, but, you know, you don't want to be a, a one-win wonder kind of thing either, so, yeah, to, there was obviously a bit more pressure this week as well, so to come through that, it just feels amazing. Well, I was going to say, did you feel the pressure? Because, like, people were sort of looking to you yesterday and today. Um, I guess... I didn't so much until things started not quite going to plan today and then you feel a little bit like, oh, you know, this should be my time to do this and I'm not, but that's just the way golf goes sometimes. So, you know, it's nice to come into a tournament and have a little bit of attention on you because that means you're doing something right. So, yeah, I'm not going to complain about that. Three hour car trip to the airport now, do you get a bit of champagne or something on the way there? <laughs> I'm sure somebody's packed a bottle of champagne for the car ride, yeah, we'll see.